Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make realistic grass in Blender 2.58. Um, yeah. So, delete the cube, add a plane, make the plane a bit bigger. Mm, yeah, that should do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into edit mode by pressing tab, press W, and subdivide it a few times. Maybe about that many times just as long as it, there's a few of it, um, subdivisions what we're going to do is we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier increase that amount to two uh, in the view um, anyway in fact maybe three okay um, so what we're going to do now is give this the default material and then call this ground and make it a bit darker, make it a dark brown colour, almost black and get rid of specularity because this is going to be sort of at the ground where the grass is on and um, with this texture thing we're going to change it uh, there should automatically be a texture here if there's not you can just press the add button there um, but yeah we're going to just change this uh, type from none to clouds we're going to get rid of all the depth, we want this to just be smooth little bumps in the ground uh, size, we're going to set to 0.5 in fact, maybe actually just leave it to 0.25, doesn't matter um, and now we're going to add a displacement modifier and then texture, we're going to change it to uh, the one that we just made, in fact we're just going to uh, untick this box by the way, because we don't want it to affect the colour and I'm just going to call this displacement Oh, actually, that's a bit too long. Just disp. Okay. So now, uh, we're just going to decrease the strength of it. So it just makes some small bumps in the ground. Uh, go into front view, press 5 to go into ortho. Uh, and then, just you can just sort of adjust the bumpiness of it. Just a bit. And, okay, that should do. There's a few bumps in the ground. And that just gives it more realistic terrain. Okay, so now into the actual grass bit. Um, because we've been doing this for about a minute and all we've done is made some bumpy uh, poo thing. Okay. So uh, we're going to add a particle system, which is here. In this thing. And change it from emitter to hair. And then... Well, you can see we've got this really long grass, so uh, if we just tick advanced, then we're going to get all these advanced settings to get much more realistic grass. Uh, go into front view, and just decrease the normal, and then uh, just, yeah, yeah, that should be an alright size, in fact, actually, or maybe a bit bigger. In fact, we'll see later. Um, okay, uh, oh, by the way, we're going to want to call this grass just for now and call this grass as well um, because yeah it's we're going to be adding more of these and we don't want them to go all crazy and have us forget which one is which okay so so far we've got this sort of short bits of hair or grass in this case all around it and they're completely straight and you know it's kind of weird um, and grass is never completely straight naturally um, there's always gravity pulling it back down so if we just scroll down to physics and uh, un under brownian if we just increase it slightly you want to zoom in on a certain piece of grass just increase the brownian and as you can see the grass is beginning to curve increase the subframes and then it just uh, creates some more well it just makes it look a bit more high definition uh, don't do it crazily because there's going to be thousands of them, it's going to be really hard to render um, and yeah so they're not barely even going to get seen okay um, so that's that, you might also want to increase the dampening, not the drag, the dampening and that will just um, there you go That yeah in fact just decrease the brownian again and if we just, uh, where it says this thing here, integration, if we just choose Eula, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that, uh, it'll just make it look slightly better. Um, okay, so, um, oh, we're also going to want to make, under render, choose the material to be 2. 
Um, so that should hopefully work. Uh, oh, and also the this is all we've got for the grass. We need some more bits of it, and in fact, we need to be long that longer. Um, so just increase the uh, normal of it just a bit to make it slightly longer. Okay, that should work. Um, but yeah, so we've got some bits of grass everywhere, but that's really not much grass at all. So if we just scroll down, instead of increasing the amount of something ridiculous like 10,000, uh, what that will do is it will just make 10,000 completely unique, all of them computer generated, well, everything's going to be computer generated, but, uh, but basically it's going to be thousands and thousands of uh, little, you know, things that can't, like, they're all incredibly different and stuff. So, what we're going to do is under the children option, which is, oh, here it is, uh, we're going to want to choose interpolated, uh, in interpolated, um, pff, it's one of these big complicated words that I can't actually say, but I know what it does in a way. Okay, um, and yeah, what that's done is it's made tons more, but instead of them being all completely different, it's just, they get like one strand, and then they just, the computer just places it uh, somewhere else, so then um, it's kind of like a, I don't know how to put it, it, it's less work for the computer, so it just says, alright, that's there, we can also put it there, if you like. That's what it does. Um, and it also creates a lot more bits of grass, so that's good. Um, and also scatters them out realistically, but that's beside the point. Okay, so, in the materials, we're going to add a new material, and we're going to make it new. And as you can see, the grass already changed colour, because this is the second material. We're going to call this grass, and just make it kind of like a darkish green, maybe about there. And go back to the materials, and just put this back to two, just flick it to one and then put it back to two and then it will just pop up being green again and yeah that's cool okay uh, we're gonna be editing the materials later though so it doesn't matter too much uh, what colour you make it there but um, yeah later on we'll be doing some edits okay uh, add a new particle system call it long grass um, and then choose the normal grass particle systems Press this two, that will make it its own separate thing, and call it long grass again. Um, increase the normal to 0.2 or something like that, and decrease the amount to 300. And uh, also, if we come down to render, just inc put that to material three, uh, add a new material, and make it a bright yellow. Uh, because these g bits of grass have absorbed, well, they're older, they've had much more sun, and they look all yellowy because of all the sun that they've been absorbing. Okay, um, that's, now yeah, that's a good number. Oh, also, you might just want to just slightly adjust the physics a bit, because they've been there longer, gravity's, di like, distorted them a bit, so you might want to increase the brownian a bit, uh, not too much, and maybe the dampening. Ooh, not the dampening. Well, oh, slightly the dampening. Something around there. And... Um, yep, that's convincing enough to me. Okay, so... Um, we've now got our field. I'm gonna... Ooh. I'm gonna save here. Because... Computer might crash in a bit. And I don't have to restart the tutorial, so... Create new directory. Uh, grass... Tutorial. And I have to find it. There it is. File. Um. Okay. So if we were to just render this now. Oh, hang on. I think we deleted the light, didn't we? So it would just be a big black thing. Uh, yeah. Let's just give this some realistic lighting for now. Uh, add lamp. Choose sun, and then um, bring it up into the sky, and just rotate it. Give it a nice sort of angle like that and yeah and then under this thing we're just going to set this to the energy of uh, 1.5 and then make it a bright yellow because the sun isn't white it's a bright yellow color and then uh, a little tip I picked up from Blender Guru just add pff, a spotlight really and uh, make it a uh, bright blue um, like that and keep it at a smaller 
that needs to be a bit of a darker thing. Um, but yeah, keep it at the energy of 1 because generally the sky is a bit less powerful than the sun. But it's also bounce lighting and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I'm also just going to adjust the camera to make it just look a bit better. Um, in fact... Uh, there we go. So if we were to save and then render... Um, it's going to start preparing the scene data, it's going to do all this stuff and then eventually we're going to get to looking at it and we're going to see what it's going to look like and it should be good um, so yeah I don't want to have to sit here and wait for it to render with you so I'm just going to pause and wait until it's finished, oh hang on no need to, it's pra practically done okay um, so yeah there's a few things that we might need to change with the physics and the long grass um, but generally that's quite good considering we haven't actually given it any textures yet um, so yeah let's just do the things I said okay so um, as I said I'm just going to adjust the physics uh, I was expecting there to be a random amount somewhere oh random size here we go increase that Wait, which one are we on? Yeah, long grass. Um, ugh, I've lost it now. There it is. Um, and maybe just decrease the brownie in slightly, but increase the damp. That yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. Maybe increase the brownie in. Oh, here we go. Now it's bending a bit better. Decrease the subframes, and I uh, might want to keep that at three. Ah, here we go. Uh, time step. We're going to want to set that to 0 0.5. Oh, actually, maybe 0 0.1. Okay, yep. Just set the uh, time step to 0 0.1. Just to make sure that hasn't made it look more like short grass. In some ways it has, but yeah, that should be alright. Save, and instead of rendering it again, we may as well just get back into, straight into the textures. With these two bits of grass, we're just going to set the preview thing to strands, and now if we just get rid of the specularity, because no one likes it, well, on grass anyway. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is, under the textures with the short grass, we're going to give this a new material, uh, texture, sorry, and call it grass. And set it to blend. And what we're going to do is, basically this is going to, if we were to get a bit of grass, just stick it completely flat. This is going to be the bottom of the grass where it's been in the ground. And then it's going to go further up into the bit where it's on top of the surface, if that makes sense. And if we go into colours and choose ramp, uh, increase the alpha to 1 on all of them then uh, yeah okay so this is gonna be a dark brown color pretty much like the floor color that we had earlier or the ground and then this one's gonna be a kind of bright yellowy color where it's been up, up, there, up on the surface kind of like the long grass but it doesn't go from dark all the way to that, so we need to add some green in the middle. So just click add, it will add a new one of these things. And uh, just set this to a bright green colour. Put that near the end, and then add another. And then um, make that a darker green. Put that there. And then, okay, that should be good. In fact, with this one, I'm just going to decrease the alpha to 0.9 right at the end because some of the colours sort of worn away from the top bit up there. Okay, oh, god, hang on. Um, okay, so, that's that. And, oh, um, down here where it says coordinates, when it says generated, choose strand, or strands slash particle. Um, okay, and that's what it looks like now. Perfect. And then under the, or oh, this one we need to call long grass uh, under the long grass what we're going to do is give it the exact same texture press this 2 again, call this long grass and just bring these last two options back a bit, well these first few 
So we've got more of this yellow stuff. And now into the materials. Oh, hang on. We need to bring this back to strand or particle. And okay, there we go. So now that is how to make realistic grass. If we were to now render this, then yeah. Okay, as I said earlier, I'm going to pause, so I may as well. Okay, so that's it. It's been rendered. Um, it looks kind of funny, but it, there's a lot of difference has been made with the textures, and I hope that really does help you. You can sort of see where the bumps are, and I would say that looks very realistic, and that means that it looks very good as well. So, um... Yeah, you can just fiddle around with some settings. If it didn't quite work for you, then you might just want to adjust some stuff. But generally, that is it. Okay, so thanks for watching. This has been Whitehead King teaching you how to make realistic grass in Blender 2.58. And hang on, let's just make that full screen. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I hope that helps you with your nature things. Uh, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Oh, visit my website, follow me on Twitter, subscribe, and do stuff. So, yeah. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.